So I'm pretty sure everyone's had that moment in life where they're just thinking to themselves, like, what am I doing with my life? So whether you're just starting college, or maybe you already graduated, and maybe you're 30 years old and you're still wondering that same question, you're not alone. So if you're older and you're like comparing your friends to your current life, you might see your friends who are like already successful in their careers, and who you are, maybe still struggling just to find that perfect career or perfect job or even just to find any job at all. But I can guarantee you that you're not alone and that there are millions of people who are just like you. You know, still searching, still trying to find that career, that passion. They're still trying to find that reason for what they're doing in life. And so there are many phases that people go through and I've been through it too. I know there's a lot of peer pressure into thinking that you have to start right away or you have to have achieved a certain milestone at a certain age. But it's not like that. People go through many different things. There are many factors and environments that, you know, affect people's decisions and people's goals and when they achieve them. And as you go through these phases, you'll eventually reach like what you want to do as a career. So today I want to go over phases in life that you'll be going through as you search for that career. It's almost predictable in a way just because you know, many people go through it. And I'm going to be sharing some of my personal stories too so you can see how relatable it is. You're probably not going to be going through the same thing but again you'll see the concept of it that it's oh he's not alone or I'm not alone. So he went through the same thing too so it's really relatable. So as you're first starting this journey, just trying to find yourself, your purpose, your reason, maybe your career, you're going to be influenced by people. You're going to be influenced by your friends, your family, your coworkers, your colleagues. But for the most part, because like maybe you've been stuck inside at home, or as you're like maybe transitioning from high school to college, you're going to be influenced by your friends or your family. So obviously, your parents, they want the best for you. Your friends want the best for you. You want the best for yourself. They're going to push you to do something that they think is the best thing to do. Sometimes it could be very difficult, like say imagine being a doctor or working into a very specific and difficult field to get into, but maybe it's not for you. True story, uh, my parents, they want me to be a pharmacist. Of course they know that the medical field is like always stable, it's a very high paying job, but it's pretty difficult. Always easier said than done. Of course you can just say become a pharmacist, but you know it takes like many years to become a pharmacist or become like an engineer, or become a lawyer. You know, they just say that to an 18 year old who just graduated high school, like, can that really be done? You know how long it'll take to become a lawyer or a doctor or an engineer? It takes four or 10 years. So it's not like something that can be done so easily. So as you're influenced by these friends and family, you might try it out. You might test the water. So for me personally, my parents wanted me to become a pharmacist and then going into college, I majored in chemistry just to satisfy them in a way. So the prerequisites is like some sort of science field, so chemistry, would fulfill those prerequisites. But as time progressed and you know college got more difficult, becoming a pharmacist almost became like impossible because it was me who was going through it, not them. Maybe your mindset is just not meant to become a pharmacist and that's completely fine. So as you continue to take classes, like for me, sometimes you might fail a class and you're just like miserable overall because someone pushed you so hard to do something that you're not good at or something that you didn't want to do in the first place. And then that itself can cause a lot of drama with your friends or family because like they told you to do it, you tried to do it, and then all of a sudden now you're failing in life. And then eventually you resent the fact that you even tried it. Like, he said, this is just a waste of my time. I failed so much, I spent so much time, my money, and now I'm in, like in a corner because I can't move on anymore because I listened to you. After that, the second phase is that you drop what you're doing, you say, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. Then you go on to do what you want to do. In a way, you follow your dreams, even if you fail at it, but you drop what you're doing and you say, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm not listening to you anymore. So this is what I did. My parents wanted me to become a pharmacist. I actually wanted to join the Marine Corps, the military. So I majored in chemistry, I satisfied them, but also in my spare time, I would train with the Marine Corps. I found a little recruiting office near my school and I just trained with them. So I satisfied myself too. I went towards the route that I wanted to go to because I wanted to see if I truly enjoyed it. Did that for like three years and turns out I did enjoy it. I did get what I wanted out of them. And I was very happy that I did what I did. That experience was like priceless and I wouldn't change it for anything. But in the end, I failed to do what my parents wanted me to do. I actually dropped the Marine Corps route just because I was satisfied with what I got out of them. And then the third thing is that I got out of my comfort zone. So after I failed my parents, after I failed myself, or in a way after I satisfied what I wanted in myself, then I went out to try new things. So in a way I had like closure in what I wanted to do. So in a way this might be the lowest of the low you can get just because you know I failed my friends and family, I in a way failed and dropped what I wanted to do. So at this point you don't really know what you're doing in life at all. Any progress that you make towards anything, any route, any career field is like happiness to you because 
you can't go any lower than what you already currently are in. So at this point, you're just like desperate and you try everything that you can. And this is where you explore yourself. So yeah, your family thought that being a doctor is easy. You tried that route, you failed. Yes, you wanted to try something else. Maybe you wanted to become a painter or an engineer and you tried that route because you thought it'd make you happy. And then it turns out that you failed yourself and it was only you pushing yourself to you know, finish this route. But then in the end, it sucked too. So now you failed your friends, you failed yourself. So now you just try anything at this point. You're just desperate. And then anything will make you happy because now you're progressing and you're like digging yourself out of that hole that you put yourself in. But eventually, eventually, the fourth one is that you will find that aha moment. So for me, in this case, uh, I tried to become a pharmacist. I tried the Marine Corps route, failed it up both of them. Now I was just like going with the flow of the school, trying to do whatever, you know, participating in clubs, participating in events. Nothing really sparked interest in me, but then eventually, just like trying random things, something came up. And then that was when I had my aha moment. And it was joining like a research group. So I know people who aren't really interested in science, you might not really understand where I'm coming from, but even so, just trying new things and then finding out, oh, I didn't know about that at all. It's my first time hearing about it, but I actually enjoyed it. And this could be different for everyone else. Once you try it, and once you find it, you sort of just already know, like, this is what I want to do. Eventually, you're gonna find what you want. You'll find it more enjoyable, you'll find it easier to do. Eventually, you're gonna get good at it, and then you're not even gonna care about what other people say or think about it. Like, so what if you become like an artist when your parents thought you were a doctor? I know really it's just like fear and uncertainty that's really causing people to not pursue what they want to do. Just think about it. If you're spending like four or eight years trying to be a doctor when you're not good at it, when you know that it's not something you really care about, then you spent like eight years of your life trying to please someone else. It's your life, it's not their life. You spent basically eight years of your life to do what someone else did not achieve in their life. So don't waste your time and your life doing someone else's dreams because like it's not worth it. So I hope this just like motivates you to keep pushing even if you're lost in life. Progress is slow, I know but it's like your story, your chapter, your book, your life. Sometimes it just takes a while to get to the good part in like a story or you know a movie. And that's exactly what's happening right now. You're the author and only you can really decide whether something is good in life or not. Okay, so <laughs> those are the phases in life that everyone has gone through or will be going through or is currently going through. And you're not alone because there are many writers, many people who have different lives, different events, they're all just like trying to write their own story. And also, don't make fun of someone who is not progressing as fast as you are. Because you know, you've been at that point too. It's just, maybe someone's progressing slower than you are. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Goodbye.